I've been in the brewing industry for 20 years, but never with my own brewery. When I got the opportunity to take over the brewery here in Florence, I was absolutely delighted. It's turned out to be the best move of my life because I get to craft great beer. It's an amazing challenge to work with great British raw materials, malt and hops, and a rather complicated thing called yeast, which has its own way of doing things. You're on your own. You have to work with your raw materials and your equipment and solve the problems that life throws at you, which is a fascinating challenge on a daily basis. I'm quite keen about rediscovering old beer styles or rediscovering old recipes, so I like to look back into the old brewing archives um, and dig out recipes from breweries that are long since defunct. Okay, so today we're brewing uh, my best-selling beer, Tommy, which is an IPA, Indian Pale Ale, a recipe from 1914. Indian Pale Ales were uh, the first beer that really launched us into the modern era of, of uh, pale beer. A lot of people tend to think that their IPAs were strong, alcohol-wise. They weren't necessarily. What they were was hoppy. It's no longer really just the sort of uh, real ale aficionado. Craft beer has very much attracted uh, a new, younger market. People, by and large, who've already come out of the food revolution that's taken place in this country, so they've, uh, they're much more food savvy, and beer for them is just an extension in their general interest in wines, food provenance, cheeses, whatever. The time is ripe, really, for a boom in artisanal brewing. It's all about making, making beer to the best of one's ability, really, because, especially in this market, if you can't make it to the best of your ability, you might as well pack up and go home. Beer is one of those things that, that really excites people, um, and it's really nice to be able to put something in front of people that they get really passionate about, um, and about which I get really passionate about too. And the end result is what it's all about.